a lot of them is probably never mind. Anyway, what's, what's up? Gra- you said they graduated. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of them have gone on to you know, have Frank established Lisa. careers. <laughs> Little in baby those saints. Areas. Yeah. That's wild. Yo, 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 you tuning into the Notion Podcast. This is your boy Dizzy D Spill with my co host in the building. Joanne Evans. Farmer Poe. Yo, we was talking about Candy House. Hey, hold on. That was hella the way I said that was kind of serious. Farmer Poe. I didn't it's, like the way I said nobody that. Nobody cares. It's still recorded. It's, but it felt like You want me to cut that out? Rehearsed I'll cut it out You want to cut it out? Right. I'm not cutting it out It felt rehearsed <laughs> It felt Can like the Making again? the band segments When it was like Eat nuts like, right. Yo man It seemed like uh, uh, The squad is uh, Threaded up pretty decent Today man oh, It was a little Spring flame little You know what I mean? I just be throwing on what's laying around, brother. Nah, we're not going to gonna say that that crew neck was just laying around because I've never seen it before. Oh yeah, seen I've that never one? seen it before. That I is, think a, I seen that, that, one. that is an in, that is an inbroded five <laughs> million thread <laughs> kicks and sneakers crew neck. Oh, you got the single thread before? You know what I'm saying? That's hand threaded, <laughs> bro. <laughs> It was That's just hand like, threaded. Yeah. Thirty three <laughs> women. I see how you. Feel. I see how. You feel. <laughs> hey, look. And then we gonna get on these J's. What's going on? Where hey, you no going? No dust particles on them. After this, <laughs> like you know the little brown dust I think particles. I'm gonna beat be their ass in Rayleigh's when I go shopping. Oh, no, those those catch dust no really easy. Dust particles. I was trying to figure dust out why there isn't any dust particles yeah, on they these. They catch dust they was, easy. I know they do because I. Eggs. Mm. I used to try to clean the shit out of them. Man, you got yeah, man. This yeah, it's a plan for us. Y'all, y'all seen these before? These in the man, fleece man. sweats, huh? Uh, nah, this tech. I see what you oh, did. See them tech. See. Yeah. Oh, yeah. so breathable wear. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I get. I can do it. I can be fresh, breathable, and I can hit the gates in yeah, these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was on, yeah, that yeah, was on yeah. top of the button of clothes. Drawstring. So I just. Drawstring got the little uh, things on the end. The little, the little metal, the little metal jawstrings. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I see. I see. I free. All right, bro. Yeah. Relax, my nigga. I just showed up to record, man. How y'all doing? I was good. I mean, yeah, we doing <laughs> not as well as you, but we doing pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Man, nigga came in the bright reds like we wasn't gonna notice him. Yeah, yeah I just showed up to record, man. Oh, okay. What's up? What's up, world? All right. Yeah, man. <laughs> I can do man, it. what's up, what's up with you, Poe? I mean, uh, nah, man. Um, it's spring. <laughs> Yeah. What okay, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how to say it. Flowers, nigga. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now my partner at work, he was like, man, I, it was a shirt I wore. He was like, man, I ain't never seen that shirt. I said, I wore it last year in spring, nigga. <laughs> this, this is a seasonal. I shirt. put it away. You didn't work here last spring. It's a seasonal shirt. You, you didn't wear, work here last I spring, bro. I put it away, dude. Well, it's, yeah, it's man. a seasonal shirt. I yeah. got you. I yeah. got yeah. seasonal. Got that, uh, I, I see. How, no, but he try to keep it. He he yeah. came out. Now since the A's was considering coming to sack, he started acting different. Here we go, bro. He started acting real Here we different. Go. My nigga. Show us the shoes. Put the shoes up Man, so I they can wore, see. I wore these. Uh, I wore these, bro. I wore these. Yeah. I wore these. I wore these, man. I like how you tell us you're rooting same. for the athletics without telling us you're rooting for the athletics. <laughs> <laughs> whole like ass, hey, whole oh, ass no, no, Dodger no, no, fan no, no, out no. here coordinating. That's not a regular T. No. That's a Lavore Cole. Yeah, yeah, it's an owner exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> you see, he got on the I got the idea from him. I got the idea from him. I got the idea from him. The owner exclusive. I got the idea from him, man. That's right. I didn't know what owner exclusive was until shit. I met this guy. No, I'm about to I said, you can make shit for yourself and they got to <laughs> sell it for nobody, to nobody else? I said, I'm going to do that later. Nah, nah, nah. I, I That's like That's pretty that. much the like direction that. of the brand from yeah. here on out. Like yeah. That. You know what I'm saying? Think, like, you're going to see a lot of stuff and it's like, yo, when can I get that? It's like, <laughs> nah, you can't. can't. Never. When that came yeah. out, when they made it? Yeah. <laughs> It's the first time I write it out. <laughs> I like that. I like that. I'm gonna have to start doing some shit. Hey man, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm like I said. I'm just trying to catch up to yeah, y'all. The spring I'm comes. Trying to catch up to y'all, man. I like it. <laughs> he said the sun is out. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah. Outside today. Lavor Le- 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 Cole shorts too. Nah, nah, these right. Nike. All right, let me temporarily. Find out. Don't let me find out. Not a, until the, hey, until the goal is yeah. to be completely. I love mean, cold drip, socks. but I like the coordination. I almost did the whole like whole brand thing today, but then I was just like, nah, I want to be a little. Bright. I'm gonna let them live. Mix the brand. brands up. 
I'm gonna let him live. <laughs> That's the kind way of saying I'm gonna let him live. <laughs> yeah, cause there's some throwback. Now I don't kill him like that today. <laughs> Today's Sundays. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man. Let's, so y'all been following sports, right? Y'all been following women's sports. Women's sports has been the hottest topic. I ain't been following, but I've been hearing. I mean, that's good enough. I mean, I've been hearing. You know, there's, there's a lot of things you can hear about. Killing fact. shit. Kaylin Clark. Oh, oh. She's been killing shit for a minute, though. Hottest topic. It's been hot. It's popular. Because sports, I would say the hottest. I said one of the hottest sports topics. Segregated. You know what I'm saying? The hottest sports topics. Sports is like racially segregated. I have it for sure, but I, I haven't know. seen. Damn, you think so? <laughs> yeah. I mean, and not. I guess racially motivated. I would say. I would say that if if I don't think it's motivated. Yeah. I would say. I would say anything like that is media driven, right? I think media does a really good job at trying to create that. Side A versus side B conversation. Well, I say that to say, like, it's not a bad thing when I say racially motivated, but we give props to people who are outside of our culture ethnically, and then they do something that we do very well, and they they exceed. That's a we fair give statement. Props to that. That's so a fair I would, statement. For us on the side, it's not like a lot of us are looking at it like, man. Like we're against Caitlyn, we like, damn, she out there killing that shit. So I like, I say that motivation right mm -hmm. there is more like, oh damn, we fuck. It's like an Eminem, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So that that's not to say there aren't great white players in all sports, but when they come in every once in a while and they exceed um, some of the black players or the predominant group in that uh, sport, you know, we give them props. And the, and the spotlight is on them because everybody knows that she so, exceeded everybody. She's <laughs> right, she went head to head with Steph at the All Star she's game, killing shit. Yeah. That wasn't her. <laughs> I was about to say. I was about to say. Hold on, that was a <laughs> That was not her. See, that's why I said it's racially segregated and racially motivated. And yeah, I didn't want to agree with me. her. That's what I mean. No, nah, but um. No, I think I think it's great because I know that there's been a conversation with women's sports and I mean, but it was more like the pay and there was always a pretty uh, strong argument um, when you would hear like WNBA players and other female athletes that would be like, well, the men get paid this, you know, and the women only get paid this. But one of the main arguments used to be those those athletes, those male athletes are putting asses in seats in arenas. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? ECW was great, but no one was going to the fucking shows like the, yeah, the it's, WWF. It's, yeah. What it comes down to is uh, your, the market. And yeah. The market for the WNBA is already small. Mm hmm And it just, I don't know, it's it's just not getting the reach that you thought it would. Right, right. Which is, kinda, which is kind of crazy due to the fact that um, the NCAA women's is so big. It gets so much notice. Yeah. It gets so much yeah, attention. Yeah, for sure. Get, you know what I'm saying? And so it's just kind of crazy because it's like NCAA women's would be all over it. Then they go to the draft and we, I don't know, watch no WNBA So games. this is like, the take I that I've heard. name a lot of teams. The take that I, I, I think heard. think you finna say what I was about to say. Go ahead. The take that I heard is that, and I'm not too in tune with it, but is that a lot of the women at the age that they're at in the, when they're in college, that's when they're, you know, they have the most athleticism. But by the time they get to the NBA, because of the way in which the um, system is set up, they oftentimes don't, they're, um, I think, they don't get to the WNBA until maybe a certain age or mm -hmm. they're like playing past their, their prime. age of prime. So they're going to, it's almost like they're going to the WNBA past their prime already. Yeah. Right? They're huh. going in when they're in their prime or reaching their prime. They've already kind of. I never, I never noticed that. I mean, I'm not. And I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly in the take that I've heard, but that it has to, has something to do with their age as well as mm -hmm. where the, that could be a discrepancy in their athleticism. I mean. <clears throat> and also they ain't got no seats in there. It's like, it's a different type of game because the, way in which it's played i'll say this bro um why aren't more women <laughs> supporting the WNBA? they outnumber us in ratio it's not fun to watch women I'm like not to a watch woman. i can't answer that but it's a good question it's not fun to watch if they outnumber us right 
they should be filling those seats up regardless of what we think, how we feel. And the crazy thing about it is as far as male support for, for like female athletes in WNBA, but specifically the WNBA, a lot of NBA players go to those games and show up and support Mm -hmm. a lot of them. Oh yeah. So they get the male support. Now, as far as pay, it goes back to what Jelani said. It's that, that market, you know what I'm saying? It has to be, there's still the rules of supply and demand at the end of the day. But on a more li- on a more positive note about it i feel like they're starting to build momentum to where they will get that if the athletes continue the momentum if the game is well, the thing about it is too. like <clears throat> you got to look at it like this if you're a good college player and you ink a couple a few nil deals name image and likeness deals oh yeah now you could do it different you could be making the same amount of money or more than a wnba player good point and that's why i wanted to um i wanted to ask you guys what did you think about ice cube offering caitlin clark uh 5 mil to play in the big 3 i don't know how that will work out yeah cuz i think that was <laughs> I don't, I, don't, I, just don't know, I just don't know. I just don't know how that will work out. That oh, I understand cap. what you mean. I might have been counting. In any aspect. Five million right? because how is he making that back? No, he that's a real thing. I know, but I'm just saying, like, is it are, how much is the how what, who's making the most in the big three? I don't know. That's a good question. But the thing about it is he said it was like an NIL deal. It would be like an NIL deal, which is name, image, and likeness. So, so you should be the face help. of it? I don't know. I Because I don't know what exactly he had in mind for her position or whatever the case may be. But her being <clears> the big name that she is, she could be potentially one of the faces of the big three if that were to happen due to all of the notoriety that she has. Yeah, you I know would, what I'm saying? I would have to see it be something that like she that. has. But I don't but that's what I'm saying like I don't know what uh what was all included in that potential deal that was offered to really speak yeah like the, the, the key details yeah, and, and what's that. the average age of those who play in the big three? I know that I remember retired. That. Usually retired athletes right. or maybe some that didn't really make it that are really good. You right. know what I'm saying? There's been a couple of those guys. So these aren't people who haven't been a, who who had an opportunity, or maybe missed an opportunity, mm-hmm. or may have aged out. Right. Not it, people who are just right out of who are who have all the fucking like opportunity in the world mm-hmm. to go to your big three. Well, you know, I mean, you know, this is a, this isn't like somebody who just came out of nowhere. She's you say all the opportunity, and and I question that. When uh, I heard she was going to opt to go into the draft and forego her last year of eligibility. Mm -hmm. And I said that because of what I said earlier as far as the NIL deals and all the money that could be made and Uh her being a household name and being able to benefit from that. Uh Plus, you see this all the time. A lot of great college players go pro and become mediocre. Oh, yeah. Yes. Or people that looked mediocre in college and go crazy in the NBA. Takes them a time. Mm -hmm. A lot of times the game doesn't transition well. A lot of times it does. It's also almost like a 50-50 split. Mm -hmm. But I don't know how well her game is going to translate, being that she might be one of the faster or stronger or have a you know higher um basketball iq than a lot of these other players in college but once Uh you get to the league yeah is it gonna transfer it's it's it hits hits differently and the thing about it is like if your game isn't able to continue to grow and develop Uh then you hit your you hit your ceiling, right? Oh, and yeah. then and once you do that, it's a wrap. Yeah. And so the thing about it is, like, we've seen her shoot the lights out. How can she? Uh, can she do anything else? Yeah. So, but you isn't, it, isn't it always that kind of like that gamble when they are coming right out of college? Because no, not always. I mean, she's been beasting for a minute. She has. So it's not like she just hit. Like this year, last year, it's like it's been a couple of seasons where she's been. I think. Shit. I think the difference is though is for anybody like when they when they run the tables in in a different arena, and then they get on the big stage. A lot of times, what we forget as fans of the sport, that big stage, 
everybody is a pro. Sometimes when you're playing, like if you're playing college, there's maybe a couple of good players on that team. But judging off of all the franchise on all all the teams that are in the pros, they are deeming every single player that they have on their team as a pro. So when you go from college to everybody you're playing with is just basically top tier starter for a reason, you're going to get exposed. Well, is she the great white hype or the great white hope? Because it is like... Mm. <clears throat> Cause it, it gets to like, a point. To where, I don't want to say hype because she's proven what she like can do. Like when you say like once you go pro, like the worst player on your pro team could have been the best player on your college team. Mm-hmm. Like that. You see what I'm saying? That, the level of talent like is there. Exactly. The competition is there. So, so the potential is what we're asking about, right? No, I'm just saying. I hope it all translates well. Is all I'm saying. Yeah. I mean, we've seen, but we have seen this. Like Jamarcus Russell killed it in college. Did Zion. nothing. In the NFL, Zion. Yeah, well, it's it, it, it's different factors that play into. Yeah, story. it's different factors, but I mean, we but st- I, but we still got to put it. We still got to put it. The jury's still out. It's still yeah. putting them over there. The jury, yeah. the jury's still out. Yeah, but we yeah we've seen it a lot, man. We've seen it a lot. So, um, but I mean, on on the flip side of that as well, Angel Reese is basically going to enter the draft. And my thing is, let's is just ready? say, let's just say. I think so. I think so. I mean, both players are going to have to do some serious developing in in areas mm-hmm. and growing into a like different, training. you know. But I think it's good for the sport. The yeah. the kind of energy that's been put into watching them and seeing what they're going to do, and and then that graduating over into pro sports, kind of like uh, five years from now. It it reminds me of like um, when you go back and you look at the story of Larry Bird and, and Magic. If you're not really a fan of sports or you or a late fan of sports, you don't know that that rivalry started in college. You know what I'm saying for them too, and then it translated over to the two biggest franchises in the NBA, and it made great basketball history, and you know it did a lot for the sport. So that could be the same. You could see that again, but this time for the WNBA. So there's a lot of potential there, but it goes back to what Jelani says too. If 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 mm-hmm. it translates well, you know what I'm saying. If it translates well, so yeah. or I don't know, she might shock us and go to the big three. <laughs> I don't know. Dog, she, that would be crazy. <laughs> but but you know what? Here's this is just a theory, man. It's and it's a, a a wild theory. Who knows what they're doing over in the big three? They could have something where they got female sports going on there or something like that. That might have been a helping hand to help. Push her numbers somewhere else, like in the WNBA, and there's I don't know, it's speculation. I just it's it's he, she's not going. I respect the offer. I respect going out yeah. there and say, hey, you know what? Let's just see what happens. Let's offer her something to see, because I mean, he is trying to develop it, and mm-hmm. I because of my scheduling, I don't get a chance to watch as much sports as I want to. I got to read about it or check scores and things of that nature. But at the same time, um, I do like different L, different pro sports so to speak coming out because one thing I've always hated is that drought when the NBA is over when the NFL is over you know what I'm saying and nothing is going on yeah. Really, I mean, you have baseball, you know, but it's hard to keep up with that. Come on, man, it's hard to keep up with I that. Love baseball, I love baseball, but it's like how many games and how this shit is crazy. It's better in person. I'll yeah, say that. That's what I, I like about. watching baseball in person. Baseball I played TV. myself, but I like watching it Go in to the game. person. Yes, the experience. Yes, you get know it, what I'm saying. Get a glizzy and pause yourself and have an, enjoy yourself, and then go to like get the beer, spill it. Do all that shit. <laughs> like that whole thing is the whole experience. Yo, yo has a, a wild painting of how uh, how everybody watch baseball. <laughs> because baseball, dog, like go buy your beer, spill it, fall, start a fight. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of baseball, uh, Sacramento sure. A's. <clears throat> It'll still be the Oakland A's, I think. <laughs> Correct. And then they'll leave Sacramento. <laughs> right. Correct. They're here temporary. They're Airbnb. You, Sacramento. You, you want to talk about the pettiness though Correct. of Oakland? What's the pettiness? Filing the trademark for the Sacramento A's? For sure. What? So y'all can start. Y'all, let's let's no. Nah, this ain't let's, listen. Listen, th- th- there's a page on, on on Instagram. I'm a residential hater of this page. Okay. I always hashtag residential hater <laughs> because they are fucking. Yo. They are. It's like. 
y'all like reaching, y'all reaching for it, uh -huh. chasing it. Uh -huh. Should we change the beam to green? It's like, bro, they're here for two weeks. Nah, bro, they're here for a few years. At least until what, 2027? Yeah. Dog, it's about to be the middle of 2024 right now. Like, But 2027 is a minute. So by the time they get their A's hats, they're going to be taking them fucking Man, who they getting their work done by if it take that long? No, exactly. Jelani can knock it to out. To me, it's just the reason I'm the reason I'm a hate. <laughs> we can knock those out a little bit quicker than that. It's always chasing it. It's always like, you know what I mean? It's dope that it's they're still here in California. Listen, I man. Think it's in Northern California. Until they leave and they go into Vegas. I think that's dope. But here here's my thing. I think it's good for the city. I think this is an opportunity to sh to to either show what the city can do or expose the city for what they they refuse to do. Because right. you got to remember, the city almost lost the Sacramento Kings. They were they were Vegas bound, right? And some things happened. They made a new arena. It's kind of you know some cool things going on there. Team started doing better, right? So this is an op this is I look at it like this is the city's opportunity to audition for maybe a potential another another potential uh, pro team. I had an argument with my coworker uh, last year. Y'all was just agreeing on the shirts, man. What happened? No, we be having arguments all the time. Damn. I had a theory. I just threw it out there. It wasn't very thought out, but this is my theory. Or and it might them? be too late for Sack. Or any of them? It's just, <laughs> listen, listen. And especially in the 80s and the 90s, if your city had a baseball team, it gave it a little bit more authenticity on, like, you got to have a baseball hat for your city, man. You got to have a baseball hat for your city. To 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 establish that we here. It f Come on. Sacramento it, has a baseball team. Dog. A major league So you ain't never been to a River Cats game. You never been to a River Cats game. I've been to a River Cats game. Do you major know you know you know some of them cats? Do cast you have a hat? Why you ain't got a hat? <sighs> Major yeah. League Baseball, dog. Okay, so Did you go to a lot of cities, and you know you sound like a major hater right now. Hit, I am. <laughs> you, you, you forgot the you forgot the hashtag. You forgot the hashtag. You forgot the hashtag. I told him I said, man, if your city don't got a real baseball hat, you're not a real. We city do. We got River Cats. Now check this out. Watch the what I river do. River Cats. That watch, dirty ass watch, river. Hey, hey, watch what I do here. <laughs> hey, watch what I do here. Because he's from Hunters Point, right? Where do a lot of those River Cats players go when they go pro? They go to the A's. No, they don't. Or the Giants? They go to the Giants. But I thought the A's was the... Nah, uh, the nah, see. I thought they was, the we, A's we, was we, actually... They be, the it wasn't? Mm -mm. Mm. The Sacramento River Cats is a minor league team for the San Francisco Giants. I thought it was for the A's. Uh -huh. Look at you, see? So, no, nah, A's is actually my favorite baseball team, though. Nah, you How you do that? Mm -hmm. No, nah, you a hater. He out of pocket, y'all. Excuse him. I'm just a giant fan by just uh, a giant hater. Default. <laughs> 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 Hashtag giant hater. But the '90s, the '90s A's was my favorite like squad. So you must have really liked the movie Moneyball then, right? No, he's seen not a fan. I never he's seen not it. a fan. I've never seen Moneyball. Moneyball is about it. the A's. He's never he's been. Never he's seen not it. a fan. Y'all ever seen the movie The Fan? The movie with, about, ben, with the with, the with Giants? Ben Affleck, right? Nah, not Ben Affleck. I'm talking about uh, Moneyball. I'm talking about Moneyball. Talking Moneyball about was up, Brad Pitt. Moneyball is with no Moneyball. It's also the dude from what's the the fat actor that got slim. What? What is wrong with this guy? He got slim. Man, you should have ate the veggie chips. Are you chips. talking about Jonah Hill? You knew who I was talking about. Because I know who's in the movie. And I'm thinking like it wasn't Brad Pitt. But I'm not <laughs> I'm not a fan of the movie just because it had the A's in it. You should be, I'm man. A fan it's a, of it's the about A's. it's about your not team. The movie. <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's about the it's about the team. It's something that happened with the team. Nah, I like the fan. The movie The Fan with Robert De Niro is fire. Feel you. That's what that's a fire. Wesley Snipes. Yeah. Yeah, that was a fire movie. For sure. For sure. Yeah. You know what, dude? <laughs> <laughs> Let me just let's let's just get to it, let's man. Let's move on, man. Let's just get to it, man. What did you guys think about the J. Cole mixtape? Uh, I couldn't tell you. I haven't listened to it. I listened to it. <clears throat> yeah, can't wait to hear it. I don't know if it's if I listened to it in its entirety, 
because I, I downloaded it at, um, I thought it was just a song. So I just, I was actually on every Friday before I go to sleep at about 11 or something, I'll go on to uh, Apple Music and see what's coming up. And I saw the tape on there and I was like, oh shit, downloaded it, listened to it. I'm like, oh, he's rapping. I didn't know there was a Kendrick diss. Um, I think we all kind of was like, oh shit. Yeah, I wasn't aware. But I heard, I was in tune mm -hmm. at this time and I was like, I just kept hearing shit. I was like, oh damn, he's talking about that. Yeah, sometimes it, I don't really notice shit. See, I didn't decode if he, like, if he, if he was throwing strays at multiple people. He was definitely showing okay. Strays I knew, I know, strays. I know strays. seven minute drill. We'll get to that. At least three people. <clears throat> who's, the, who's the other people? Future, Drake, and Kendrick. Man, he threw shots at Drake? For sure. I heard them. I, I definitely thought I heard some Drake. That's interesting. For sure. He yeah, they, definitely they said some Drake shit. They just did yeah, I heard some shit. And he definitely said something about future. Okay. <laughs> first shooter, the first one shot. <laughs> shot All right. But before we give our synopsis, what we got the ranking. I'm gonna give it one oh. I'm not telling you who I got one oh. Yeah. As far as it's in one oh right now. This is right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so all right, let me let me back all the way up as far as on the timeline. I will say that the J. Cole project is one of my favorite out of all of his all projects. Of one yes. I'm not saying it's number yes. one, yes. but it's very close. Yes. I really enjoyed it. Yes. He was he was definitely rapping. He was definitely saying some shit. For sure. For sure. So uh I, I gotta say that because when we start talking about the debate between the Kendricks and the J. Coles, it turns into um what faction you choose. You know what I'm saying? And I don't have a dog in the fight. Whoever gets knocked out, I'm going to respond like Smokey. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but the thing is, is um, I want to talk about the project overall as far as it being dope. You know, of course, I have like four or five songs that are favorites that are on a playlist. I like I like a lot of the songs. I don't know if I've gotten through the whole album a, a second time before I went. To I ran it a second time, but I didn't but go. I, I didn't get all the way through. I got interrupted there's and, you know, stuff like that. There's a few repeats for sure. Yeah. But well, now let me ask Jelani real quick. Did you get a chance to listen to at least seven minute drill? I haven't heard anything. All right, let me get my phone. Turn this it was crazy. Though. Seven <laughs> minute drill wasn't seven minutes though. I read a article. That is a good point. <laughs> I read an article about a uh, J Cole dropping an album and whatnot, and of course they touched on the whole beef for whatever his response. And so I read the verse. Okay. I didn't. Oh, you can't do that no more. I read the verse. I haven't oh. listened to it, so I read the verse, and it's interesting. Um, but I mean like to be honest, bro. They out here slap boxing. They out here with mittens on, bro. Cause the whole thing about it. My nigga. This, this thing about it. This I was waiting it. for you. This is the thing about it, because it's like this. Alright, so if let's let's discuss it, right? Because it all started with Kendrick's whole uh, "fuck the big three, It's just big me. Mm -hmm. Did it start so, with that? So I don't know. I'm just I'm just the whole. We'll thing say that this, amplified though, it. This is the whole thing about it, though, right? So there's always been talks and debates and and debates, talks, arguments, and it's not even supposed to be a big three. It's supposed to be four. Big right? Sean is no more. Right? He's out of so here. I'm just saying, though. It's supposed to be four, though, right? It is supposed to be because four. Because as soon as I said that, you knew who I was talking They've about. Been so it's Kendrick the Lamar. Fuck on his ass this last three, Drake, four weeks. Uh -huh. J. Cole and Big Sean. And I mean, then five? after after, to be after a while. Wale? Nah. Nah. He, nah. I feel, nah. Nah. Yeah, him That's and Big different. Sean over here together. <laughs> That's different. I feel like he was before them. Who? Wale? Yeah. Yeah. He's in the same uh, <clears throat> Nike boots, right? Class. That's that double XL shit. Wale was in that yeah. class? They all in the same class. Huh. I don't know when they Nike. Wiz Khalifa in that same class. Damn. Interesting. Okay. Well, anyways. Um, I know he's telling the truth because he listened to uh, Wiz very, very heavy. Taylor Gang all, and shit like that around that time. Man, yeah. Wiz, man, Big Sean, It's crazy Wale. what happened to Wiz. We'll talk about that later. Though. Yeah. Um, oh, different conversation. Man, it's, it's rough. Anyways. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> Sorry, Wiz. So back to this big, this whole big. You remember this, your partner used to be the shit in thing. high school. And now he had not. <laughs> so this whole big three thing, I heard somebody explain it really well 
because like the way that every all of them were going about it, it was almost like Drake was trying to be the biggest star mm-hmm. right J. Mm-hmm. Cole was you know want to be the best rapper mm-hmm. and then Kendrick Lamar being the um, best artist mm-hmm. okay you see what I'm saying most introspective and so yeah. when put it like that I'm like that's a really good way to categorize the, the routes that they went depending on your style of music your taste your preference mm-hmm. it's arguable to say that either one of them are I don't know if I want to say ghost status but I mean like you can say that that's my top artist for this and, era for sure and you can and it can, it, it can it, that's arguable but mm-hmm. only between so many artists yeah, these this is these are the like Jay Z and Beans and all of the people that we looked up this is the younger generation's era that's their goats to yeah, them. it was yeah it's almost like how like <clears> you know <throat> we might have watched Jordan and then we've seen all of Kobe's come up and so those two are who we might lean towards whereas mm-hmm. this newer generation they've seen LeBron James and Steph Curry so to right. me, those are the this is the flopping era yeah <laughs> that's another when we talk about aggression no you no right? no I do agree with that because that's that's, the, the that's that slap boxing well and see, go and listen to the beans and Jada Kiss beef yeah and, but just that's what I'm saying this is what I'm saying so with them top three right mm-hmm. it's arguable because of the talent they possess right so for artists to be that talented to supposedly be beefing and not give us your hardest bars and you be direct and straightforward and show us the talent that is you, Mm -hmm. you are out here slap boxing. Nobody's even really saying names. Like, bro, do you remember Vaseline? I I, I I don't remember when it came out, but I remember the digging in the crates. Yeah. Hit him up. Yes. Definitely remember. Definitely remember. Yes. Ether. Okay. So Ether Ether was a punch in the face like when I first put in Stillmatic. I mean <laughs> so shit, yeah. even was even Jay Z's takeover, yeah. Takeover was nigga. Wait, what happened? That yeah, was two thousand and one. So but what I'm saying is when there was beef There was no decoding. There was beef. Yeah. There was no decoding like song Pac lyrics. Says, F you mob deep Don't want you motherfucker Got sick of sale or something yeah. Like yo It was like yeah we, we I'm coming at your helmet bro Like we're not even gonna Just keep it like Lyrical Like I'm I'm coming after your family mm-hmm. Talk, Like I'm taking shots At everybody Like You know Y'all are having a family picnic I come in with a Street <laughs> sweeper <laughs> like, Everything Yeah What if you, th- you if you think about that That basically gave The That was like the skeleton For battle rap How personal battle rap is a lot of that was influenced by actual diss records towards each towards each other as artists you know what i'm saying now see i can <clears throat> two different things for that i think it's dope when you can say something dope that the only person who knows are the only people who are aware of those in that inner circle i think that's 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 dope but i also feel like Y'all been pushing and shoving, bumping up against each other's shoulder for so long, talking about. Has it been like a damn near a decade? It's been a, it's been a decade, yeah. and we know who y'all talking to. So now just and like they fight. and they and they write it and perform it just so that like, we know who they talking. Yeah, to. we know who you guys are talking to. Yeah, we just don't know what y'all talking about. But in a when we in school, we don't know what the real issues and the fight is. We just see that we know y'all bumping up against each other, yeah, pushing, just, talking about hit me, hit me, hit me. Over, be over by the bike. Yeah. We just five. like niggas fight. I mean, I'm a, <laughs> like, we don't care what y'all fighting about. Fight. <laughs> y'all so, y'all want to show us y'all fighting? Then fight. Yeah. Okay. Here, I got, I got, I got a couple of theories, and just from my personal perspective, because I've done it, I've thrown subliminals in my songs. Just a lot of dumbass niggas didn't understand I was talking about them, yeah. but. The point is, is that I think versus like using myself as an example, I just did it just because I know it's going to sound cool in my song. And if you want to ask me if it's about you, yeah, it was about you. But the way that they're doing it, especially like with seven minute drill from what I've listened to, I feel like all of them have one thing in common about the sneak disses. They're afraid to write that song that's going to go crazy and then lose to the reply and i'm gonna tell you why it's that way it's that way because when you look at probably the biggest 
if not, it's a tie between the two beefs. I'll, and I'll say no Vaseline with Cube versus NWA and Jay Z and Nas. When Jay Z did take over, I think for that moment in time, everybody felt like, well, that's it, right? And the reason why people felt like that is because the people he was going at, it was like, man, they not really, they pen is nice, but they're not really known to just be that aggressive. And then Nas dropped Ether and the world stood still for a minute. Like, whoa. You know what I'm saying? Well, because talent is going to reign supreme. So like, uh, but in this era, I mean, not even in this era, but in history, the result of a battle could really affect your the, career, your, career. Your, your brand. It can affect your brand. I'm going to be honest. I don't, I've never seen Meek Mill the same after. He's the, uh, never been the same. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Ja Rule Who? Ja Rule as well But hold on I mean bro. not on. as far as Their business We don't know their business But as public perception Plays a part in two I gotta I got say something About that Ja Rule That was a straight massacre Though dog It wasn't just one song It was like whole, Like every couple Mixtapes and albums There was something Dedicated to whooping his ass You know what I'm saying If there was no way There was no way For that man to come back Because anything That G Unit did they were going to take some time. Oh, hold on. It's almost like, hey, what y'all doing today? Oh, we finna go to the grocery shop and we going to the barbecue. We're going to beat y'all Rose's ass. And then we going to... Didn't y'all already beat him up? Yeah, that's just a thing we do every Thursday. But you know what I'm saying? Like, they destroyed murdering. You see what I'm saying? I just had to add... I just had to add to that part because... I, that's true. You know what I'm saying? He kind of got... Well, he was the first, but that's kind of like what happened to Meek Mill. Shang Tsung came through. <laughs> took, <laughs> took the powers. Yeah. Yeah, because he basically clowned him for what, how he did his music and then turned around and did it, did the same music he, he made played, millions he off he of. He played us all, 40 t- 42 <laughs> us all. It's like, you know what? We don't like the way he, ja Rule, we really don't like Ja Rule's music. And even though we like it, he had hit after hit. Right. And then we was like, you know, we like 50s better. Yeah, and he did the same thing. And he was doing the but same that, thing. But that, that goes to show you that, that, that damage of what can happen to your brand after yeah. a beef. Yeah. And I definitely think the big three the big four the reason why they're not putting a big boy pants on and saying names in the songs is because they're afraid of man what if this motherfucker's response to this just because whoever went that first round is crucial i feel like cole has the most bravado i feel like drake has the slight more experience and i think kendrick has a lot of potential i feel like kendrick has some shit in the vault I agree with everything you said, but I think Kendrick has something in the vault because of the way he keeps poking a bear here and there, especially when shit dies down. What do you have to say to the theory that, that he doesn't write as well? I mean, not as right as well, write as fast. I just think that's subjective. Like, like, like a game and, and Joe Budden and certain niggas get in there like tomorrow the track will be out one hour or one day as long as the product is fired Cole said seven minute drill dog Mm -hmm. what's a seven minute drill that's in athletics and sports right Mm -hmm. seven minute drill so how fast are you coming out with that is he saying I wrote this in seven I think that's I think that's also the reason okay the reason why I'll say it's subjective is because we are living in an era where everybody everything is microwave. You got to remember Jay-Z did take over and then Nas dropped Stillmatic. And when he dropped Stillmatic, you got Ether. You understand what I'm saying? Now, if you were which was harder for us back in the day, when you were into the mixtape era, you really had to go find these songs and these mixtapes to find out what people were saying. It's not easy access like today, right? right, right. So a lot of us back then didn't hear Ether until the album came out. Shout mm-hmm. out to that Piff. <laughs> hey, like big shout share. out! Big shout out to that Piff. Bear share, yeah, I remember Bear share too. Hey, but hey, you, we had to go. We had to go look for it. You know what I'm saying? Nas did do a a, a minor response to Jay, though. A lot of people don't know about before Ether, which was nice. Let you knew he let you know he was coming with something. But that's that's one of the things that I miss. Like, oh damn, they're not gonna say nothing. Nothing's gonna happen. And then the album drops, and that's the second damn song. It's too much curation, bro. Yeah. Like, and that's a good topic to bring up because of how fast, like, the radio was part of the whole 
um, system uh -huh. right there. And these, this is back before we had access to like immediate information and you can uh -huh. upload something right away. And they still not putting it out as fast as the way, and the, like the system is there for us to put our shit fast enough. But yeah. Y'all moving slower. Yeah. And doing and, and, and doing like they, they, they and doing they, campaigns, you know, subliminal tweets subliminal, and posting yeah. a random photo and ma making yeah. people decode it. Like, yeah, yeah. the best bar slap. for bar, f all those disses <clears throat> that we kind of grew up on, especially in the mixtape era. Mm -hmm. It was e it was like bar after bar after bar. First bar they're coming out saying shit. They're not like, but then they're also there's. there's it's the difference between because they're really they were listening to some of those songs on mixtapes. These songs also maybe have to play a part into their economics, like how much their money gonna make off of this. Am I gonna make money off of releasing this song or not? Can we also address the fact that ain't neither one of them really said anything like highly offensive or anything to raise your very true yeah blood man blood your album tight. was tight this album was weak Bro, or like, I didn't like your shirt the at the Grammys it, like him saying like very true uh it's just big me right uh, that, that's just speaking of his his uh his confidence and how he operate anyway his right. character right well yeah like, for sure. so on the, on the same breath while everybody got they you know self all riled up and oh he dissing and da da da, da. I mean like yeah but not really he didn't like, say shit bro like if you're not gonna say my name then I'm not worried about it cause you haven't said my name you, you know what I'm the saying big like, three. it's just big me that's cool like, right. depending on who you is the big three big four the starting five whatever you wanna call it it's just subjective <laughs> you see what I'm saying yeah. yeah so I mean like how do we even know he's talking about me he might be talking about me depending on who you're talking to but to sit up here and just take offense without my name being said is crazy and I'm not yeah. gonna do it and so, personal right and, but the thing about it is like think about the era that we came up in versus now like bro you say something they think it's about you it's like oh it's beef what are you gonna say I can't believe it's going crazy where it's just like yo did he say my name no well I'm not gonna load up the strap because if he said my name it's all I wore but if you don't say my name uh -huh. who cares and even the way people people say like shocking things to start conversation was different because I remember when certain artists in New York would say they was the king of New York. Certain artists from the South would say they was the king of the South. What I what I would notice is how many people would all right, man, I'm about to drop. I'm about to come out and I'm about to and and they'll have a subliminal to those statements and what that would create is dope ass albums and music to nigga, remember, to establish that. Remember name flips, nigga? Mm-hmm. Name flips. Yeah. That's part of the battle. Yeah, that's part of the battle. You ain't name you didn't flip my name, then nigga, you ain't talking to me. <laughs> what you mean? You not talking to me if you didn't say something about beans and say like beans yeah. name and say something about beans or JD Kiss and talking about kissing. Yeah. Jay, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not talking to me then. Yeah. Yeah, they gotta stop slap boxing, man. I yeah, I, I don't like this era of battle at all. I, I hate it. <laughs> well, well, you know what? Isn't it fair to say it's not a battle then? It's not. It's not we, we can't say that we hate something that don't exist. It's like, fencing. It's, <laughs> bro, I told you. They out here slap boxing, it's not, bro. It's fencing. They out here slap boxing, fencing, bro. bro. They're no. leading up, taking a class, putting on all this headgear. Putting on all these fucking <laughs> yo, out. that's He's, wild. He said they, he said they fancy. <laughs> They're lightly touching each other with the tips. Yo, my man's wild. <laughs> my guy's wild. Oh, sick. Oh, Come back shit. here. <laughs> my guy's wild. That shit is crazy, man. Um, y'all. Okay, so let me ask you this. Let's let's help him out a little bit, just a little bit. Let's help him out a little bit, all right. If beef happens, which that's what we've been waiting for for a decade, if beef were to happen, I'm sorry, y'all was trying to listen to the song. I thought y'all was trying to hear. Man, anybody trying to hear that, man? Okay. Why do you even have your phone right now? Because I was. Give it here, so after the podcast, live cut off. So Ooh. listen, well, they yeah. better they better tune in. He had two views. <laughs> Talk to your mom later. There was actually, there was actually five people. Nice, so listen, if 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 Christmas were to come early and the beef actually happens with I don't know if it's two people out of the big three or it turns into a royal rumble, who would you put your money on to reign supreme at the end of that? Drake. Okay. And I'm not. I'm, I'm a Cole fan. Okay. Of all three. 
I'm a Cole fan. I'm going to say Drake because... Are we talking just as far as in public opinion or actually better diss songs? Better diss song because Kendrick is not clear enough. Like, to me, it takes a little minute for me to decipher what Kendrick even said. Are you saying Kendrick is a mumble rapper, Poe? No, I'm not saying mumble. Like a tumble just, rapper. It's just hard for me to hear what he said. Fumble. He fumbles over. <laughs> and, and then he's a fumble rapper. Get it right. And then Cole is not like he's not creative enough. Mm. Oh. Okay. Not, he's not. I creative. disagree. A Cole fan says he's not creative enough he's for not. the battle. He, and what I mean by creative, like, all right, this is what I mean. Kendrick is creative in his, is has a creative style, right? Right. Uh, we can say that. Put that over here. Drake has a style that is kind of more... Traditional. Digestible. But it's like he can do... He can do the... Hearing what you're saying, he can do the punch lines and stuff in there and say creative things in there. Right. And like, he, he has a little bit more to his arsenal. Cole is like, all right, he switched up the flow. He said some punch lines, and I like the way he raps. Okay. But you got to think what about it, saying? Like, like, what is where you, where you make, where, yeah, where, are, you, okay. where are you coming with, like, that, uh, like, what are you, where are you separating yourself from? Uh, here, and my question would be, when has he ever had to? He's always had to. They always had, to me. He's always had to, and this is what separates him from me. Is like you still ain't fuck like you rapping right now. You doing a lot of rapping and you rapping your ass off, featuring and doing all this shit. But when are you guys gonna say, nigga? Fuck all this shit. Like yo, you you're still being too nice. You're like Clay Thompson. But the whole thing about it is like, but that's what I'm saying. Just because you feel like he's being too nice, what what makes you think that if necessary? He thinks Clay Thompson can't fight. If if necessary, nah, he can't I do. Fucking love Clay Thompson. Like if necessary, he can't do what's needed. He hasn't shown me yet. It's been too many seasons. But he hasn't needed to though. It's been ten years. Which one of y'all? There's no way that Bro. I'm gonna be punt. I'm gonna be beat. I'm gonna have this riff with the niggas. And feel the way that I feel. Who and said it's a off. riff? They are. Who is they? Them three. It says who? They subliminals. That's what they've been saying. Only one throwing subliminals is is Cole and Kendrick, and I feel like Cole Drake was, for sure. Yeah, Drake did do Drake at the in, sure. in the earlier years of this Drake ten year sure. beef. In the well, beginning, yeah, Drake okay. was Drake yeah because sure. he would because what he would do is he would toy with the idea yeah. that Kendrick used to basically go on tour with him and there was one subliminal um for example where he was talking about how he was bigger in his city basically he was bigger than kendrick in la because of his status at that time you know what i mean so that's where drake comes in at and then you know it's part of it and then drake i don't know i just don't feel like it's beef I just don't feel like it's No, it's not. Fun. I don't think it's beef. You know Prosciutto? It's competition. It's Prosciutto? I think so it's competition. It's like, Prosciutto? Yeah, competition. That's all reason. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you saying, like, Cole ain't never buried his fangs. I'm just like, I don't ever feel like he's had to. There's never been an issue where I feel he has needed to go on the offensive. But that's what it seemed like he's doing lately. Yeah. Well, lately, well, it, well, it depends it. on how you look at it. Because, like yeah. I said, right now he's showcasing the fact that he is the better rapper of the three mm-hmm. by... Not only as many features as he's doing, but the versatility in those songs. Mm-hmm. You feel me? The uh, you know what I'm saying his cadences. You know what I'm saying the lyrics that he's using, like everything that he's doing it to show, like yeah, I really do this on all levels. And right? he told and and for the fans who was talking about how boring he was, he just raps this way, and he was like, I gotta give him. It's it's different act. It's and different points about, we're gonna get. And then think about when he did that. That freestyle, he did like two different freestyles like a while back, and he mm-hmm. like like he flamed everything. Yeah. And yeah. he you was going on the young like south south uh, beats, like the young dudes coming up, money bag, yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's getting on those rap uh, verses and killing shit, and still being authentic to himself. Yeah, and so that's what I'm saying. Like, but now, like, if you if you throw some shots, I'll throw some shots back. If you say my name, I'll take aim. Mm-hmm. See the difference in mm-hmm. that. You see the difference mm-hmm. in that? And that's where I feel like it's at right now. You throwing shots, so I throw some shots. If it gets real, then I'm gonna pull out the sniper with the you feel me, twenty magnification and I'm gonna put two straight through your pupil. You know what I'm but saying? It's been like, like one of those what do they call it? like a hundred year war. 
It's if like you we're unbothered, just standoff. If you're unbothered, you're unbothered. And you yeah, gotta think about all standoff. three of those individuals. <laughs> you gotta think about all three of those individuals. Like they I feel like ultimately their goals are different, which means that like in a certain instance they're unbothered I'm by gonna each make, other. I'm gonna make two points. Here's my first one. If they say my name on a record, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That's the energy we talking if about. If they say my name on a record, say nobody's name. First of Why all, are we not saying if they, names? if they say my name on a the record, I'm an artist. They say my name on a record, I'm gonna thank you first because I need the exposure. All right. Second, I'm right, coming for let's it. Say this, let's say, say my this. name. Let's, um, Drake, I'm gonna have a whole mixtape within 24 hours. <laughs> Drake didn't say Meek name on um, on on either of those songs back to back or the first one. Um, what was the first one? Uh, it I was some, the first I, charged up. Yeah, charged, charged up. up, and then back to back. He didn't say his name on there, mm -hmm. but he made it clear who he was talking to. That's where I say Drake battle tested. He clearly was saying. Nigga, this song for you. Y'all not. Oh, y'all not. Okay, now nah, this whole entire song mm -hmm. is to you. Not, not a, not a bar. Not two bars. Not a half a verse. The whole song is to you. So, all right, I'll pose this question because I know, I know that that can matter in certain instances. I guess, right? Was Beans and and Jada battle tested prior to their beef? For sure. With who? Well, they had plenty of different types of battles. Okay. We can't discount the battle. Was Mace that. was Mace battle tested before he went at camp? For sure. Now, battle tested to who? To the public or because of what they did before they were famous? Both. There were several songs and things that were documented that Mace and all of those who, who participated in that, they was they I, they, they, they I guess proper. I guess I look at and because you know we, we I did leave something out as far as definition. When I think of battle tested, right? If I have, if I'm building, you know, a team of battle rappers that I believe can be dope and can go out into the world and survive, my battle t means they actually got in a battle. They actually had to fight their way, fight their way, probably in and out, and be either victorious or leave a mark so painful on the opponent that they think twice about responding or coming in the vicinity of that person. Right? Drake's the only one in that group to me who did it. I mean. By that, by that statement, well, you are work. right. Yeah. But yeah. that also doesn't determine what everybody else can do. That just determines that he is capable. That doesn't true. say that. True. You but know, true. Because how long do we wait? We're for, not waiting anymore. Are not even wait. But how long do we say like? All right, he got potential. He got potential. He no, got I'm potential. not even. I'm not even saying the potential anymore. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Because we already know what they can do as artists, right? If right. you guys aren't gonna say names and you guys aren't gonna actually throw a punch in a fight, then like Jelani said, you slap boxing. You're just you're slap boxing, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But if I did have to pick per a person, I honestly, I honestly think I would go with Kendrick, but I think Cole would win. I would go for Kendrick. I'm from I'm from the same soil, but I just feel like Cole might get him. It would it would come up to it would come to this for me between Cole and Kendrick. It has to do with preference. Well, yeah, I mean, that's what because that's all they've shown me is really to give them pr like they ain't really shown me too much for either one to be like, ah, yeah, I'm gonna have to say we have to do with the preference. Okay. Like what type of song did y'all release? What was the cadence? What was like, because Kendrick shit right now is the hardest. Mm hmm. That shit hard. When I I, I listen to um, Cole and I may be like, oh, yeah, that was, no, he said that was some slick shit. That was dope. I like the song. Right. But then you put on Kendrick shit and you're like, God, what the future shit? That shit slap. Mm hmm. So it would it would come down to preference in what I think so far. Like I'm not sure they could either one. Like so you got so coffee. so you leaning more towards it might be more of Kendrick. I'm leaning towards it might be more of Cole. Jelani says they can't fight. I'm gonna lean towards either. Like I don't know. They better. <laughs> it would just depend on my preference on the song or who I would say wins. <laughs> Yeah, you know I mean, like I, I would have to say that. Like it's kind of hard. Well, we'll see, man. Or maybe we will never see. Yeah, um, uh, something that I I think kind of bothers me a little bit, but I I got into it and I and I understand from what I read this whole bullshit with Pharrell and Chad. I heard even. about it. I didn't I didn't really dive too much into it, but I I've heard you know there's some disputes about uh, credits and things like that. The Neptune's name 
And I guess Pharrell is tra- trying to trademark the name Neptunes. Chad feels like, no, we've always had an agreement where we have things, we split things halfway as far as royalties, ownership, or whatever. But from what I read, it seems like Pharrell was doing that because it's never been trademarked. So he, you know, he from what him and his team were he's saying, doing he's doing it because, hey, this isn't even trademarked and somebody can swoop this. That's did, number one. Did he tell Chad about that? That's the other part. <laughs> he, he said, his team said that they reached out to Chad about it, about wanting to be involved with it or going through with it. And they didn't get any allegedly didn't get any responses or any interest from Chad. But, you know, this is all article and speculation. And then what's, what's, what's Pharrell's and Chad's level of communication? How do they normally communicate? Because that could be true, like he told his handlers to, you know, exp- well, I mean, to let them know that. But I what, think, what is y'all level I think it's weird. I, I'm going to tell you why I think this shit is weird. Us three right here with the podcast, right? We've been rocking for years doing this. We have actual personal relationships outside of this. I'm not sending anybody to talk to y'all. Nigga, if I get a million dollars, you, you somebody else got to talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> you can't just come talk to me. <laughs> Nobody talk to me directly, all right? You talk to her. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You talk to me, yeah, yeah. all right? You just can't come Never talk in public, to me. all right? Yeah, nah, nah. Take Never on the phone, check, all right? Check, just take those damn glasses. <laughs> And, yeah, then he, no. and he didn't even give him a chance to take the glasses off. <laughs> Damn it, man, Frank. <laughs> he broke his glasses, man. <laughs> Frank was That's a bully, pat, You pat that. Yeah, pat that. <laughs> Frank was a bully, nigga. Common was over there, quiet as a mother. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I don't know, man. Uh, I hope I do hope that they get that together, honestly. Um, the thing about it is just like, from what I read, it sounds like it could have easily just been a misunderstanding of or a lack of communication, mm-hmm. but due to um, the parties involved, they blew it up. Yeah, this is a great example of what happens when you have middlemen having conversations with the two people that's effect getting affected the most that because actually have a relationship. Thing, because the whole thing about it is like I feel like. It wasn't so much for like Pharrell to finish a recording session. Like, let me take him in and call Chad. He chat up and like, yo, um, man, you know, I'm looking, going through some things. And I noticed that we never actually trademarked the net tombs. Like people, somebody could actually snatch this up. So I want to go ahead and get trademarked as soon as possible. When you get a uh-huh. moment, you know, tap in with me so we can go ahead and coordinate the thing, get it pushed through. So we, you know, make sure everything that we have and everything that we built is protected. Right. Yeah, and, that's, and that's and that's the voicemail. If he don't pick up, if he pick up, then you say that's that. A text message. And y'all, y'all, you know what I'm saying? Y'all get that situated. So it's just like, you know. Yeah, because it like, could have went a lot smoother. If you yeah. waited 20 years to do it, another day or two to tell your man that he, that this is what you're deciding to do, it ain't going to be. Yeah, it ain't, it ain't like, it. oh man, we better hurry up because we thought about it. Yeah. Like, you should have thought about it 20 years ago. Like, the right. communication the thing about it is, is more crucial. Y'all the only ones that's thinking about it. Yeah, ain't else nobody else thinking was, about the Neptunes. <laughs> everybody else thought it was trademark. Yeah, everybody else thought everything's yeah. taken care of. Hey, bro, if I do it right now, we I ain't even made, made it to Mars. Yeah, if yeah, I could have yeah. went and trademarked <laughs> the, the Neptunes Neptune, and put a claim on everything that they've done. Bro, ain't nobody trying to nap- play, trademark Neptunes. Yeah, I'll yeah. be out here talking about. Yeah, I did that for Snoop. Yeah, <laughs> crazy. <laughs> nah, man, cuz cool. <laughs> yeah, we straight, man. I don't yeah, know what nah. to tell you. That smoke, sounds smoke that sound, all the time. That sounds fishy. <laughs> that's that means y'all have no communication. If y'all don't have communication. That's even more efficient. Maybe at each other's fashion shows that's and everything. They have some type of communication. So you ain't tell you, I don't know, man. Like, hey, bro, I just did the, you feel me? And uh, Sometimes I feel like... We gonna sometimes I feel too like... Too Hollywood. Yeah. That's what I was going to say. Sometimes I feel like it's just too Hollywood, man. That's unnecessary. Mm-hmm. I mean, I ho- like I said, I hope they figure it out. I seen the comment section... That had me cracking up when I first seen the articles on multiple pages. And everybody was saying, when I think of Neptunes, I don't, I think about Pharrell, not that other guy. And I was like, there's no yeah, way that you think about the Neptunes niggas. then. Exactly. Because there's <laughs> three <laughs> people. <laughs> Bro, I just about to say, so we're just not going to talk about the third person at all? That's I was like, like when they talk about, you guys listen to the Neptunes. That's like when they talk about Wishbone. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Nigga was in jail. <laughs> Nobody knew the nobody knew the the complete crew of Bone Thugs back then because it was. I said they hired a new. 
Hey, that's how you knew when people didn't know any better, right? Because, like, man, you see the new dude in both. Oh, like, oh, man, he's shit. always been there. But I, that cracked yeah, me up because it was like, man, I always thought about for him. Like, it's three of them. What do you mean? The Amigos was two niggas at first. Remember that? I mean, I mean, to us. So, yeah. The crazy thing about it is, whatever happened, whatever happened, right? Mm hmm. The third person has been removed. Yeah, nigga, they don't show him. <laughs> I want to know. Take what... that nigga off the internet. <laughs> nah, I'm like, I just looked it up, right? You look at the net tools, it only has two people, right? When you look at the members, and then on Wikipedia, it's the a Net-tunes black dude on there, nigga. Are an American songwriting and production duo. Oh, nah, type in the Neptunes 2001. <laughs> Yo, they out of pocket. You got to go back some years. That's a new Wikipedia. They are out of pocket. Because Wikipedia can be updated, bro. You got to go 2001 Google image search. I'm just saying. Yeah, that is <laughs> off the find that now, I, know, I know who it is because I, I remember, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, bro. I don't think his name is Dude, bro. What's that nigga name? <laughs> I remember that nigga. It is three of them. I seen it him was... in a couple pictures before. Yeah, man, it was always been three of them. Yeah, it was, yeah, yeah, it was yeah. Pharrell, Chad, Chad, and Dude. And the, uh, the, the other nigga that used to be there. <laughs> His name was what? It Philip. <laughs> Niggas forget the original Destiny's Child. Let's talk about it. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Oh, uh, yeah. shit. He said, I remember him because it was dude. dude. <laughs> That's how a nigga, when you remember when the family, your cousin, she brought yeah. her boyfriend. Uh huh. And then she bring another nigga, and you yeah. think it's the same nigga you met last time? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, man, I met, yeah, man, I know, dude. Hey, she give you, hey. And your cousin trying to give you that look to wave you off like it's not the same. That's not the same person. Yeah. That's not the same yeah. person. Ain't, yeah, ain't this bro right here, Shay Haley? Ain't this bro? You gotta ask me. He looks nah, familiar. I know, nah, I know who it is. I lo- see, look, it's called game. Look, let me see. Yeah, nah, I, can't I think remember. they just put him right they there. They just put man. a nigga in the play- in place. Nah, ain't no bro. way they man. They did not have a Ninja Turtle in the Neptune, <laughs> dog. That's him, man. Bro, bro look like a nin- send me the screenshot so the so the so the, so the viewers can see. He right, look like a Ninja check Turtle. This. This, this is what you do. Oh, that yeah, yeah that's man. Donatello was not in the Donatello like was not in the Neptunes, man. I ain't gonna lie. I remember him wearing his hat like that. That's a do rag, ain't it? Look up the album credits. Man, we not doing all of that, man. That is a direct. Yeah. That's a direct. Yeah. Uh, that's a. He should have never. Did that's that. what I'm saying. I he, it was he, a new, he, uh, it's Mike era. Jones style right there, man. Who? That's a new era. Mike Jones style. Who? That's, that's a hat. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to. Say. <laughs> he was about. To, he was about to say. Tell you again. <laughs> he been saying hella loud too. Po Mike about to, Jones. <laughs> po was about the two eight one three three four. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. hell no. Hell no. Uh, that's some funny shit. Hey, man, before we get out of here, man, um, anybody got some some great memories of the 99 cent store before it goes away for good? Let's talk about it. Uh, talk back about when it. things used to actually be 99 cent <laughs> and they didn't have tax or they didn't have stuff that you grab off the shelf and get up and it's four ninety nine. You just said the Dollar Tree for the, the lowest price for the be. I mean, the highest price is going to be $7. They got me fucked up. But let's talk but about But you know what? But, I, but it's this the Dollar pur- that's Tree. That's the purple one. The, the, the $9. 99 cent store. Yeah. The candy. Before you go to a movie. Let's talk about it. Yeah, that you was know. the move. What? Yeah, we used to buy candy before we go to the movies, it was man. Be- bef- it was Albertsons or the 99 cent store. Yeah, I ain't paying. Albertsons had the big, ki- the king size. Yeah. Go there, two get for your candy. Remember, two for a dollar. No, I mean, I'm, that's cool. That was what did. I just said no, because that's not what I did. Oh, what you was doing? Yeah, man, we want to know, man. You, well, you know know. Tell you us know the something. secret spot. I bought it at the theater, bro. Wow. Nigga paid full price for candy. I mean, like movies? kicks and sneakers. Yeah, that's and why paper. you did. <laughs> <laughs> kicks and sneakers Damn, and nigga, papered you up. Was, you was balling like that. Yeah, he said papered up like a fax. Nigga. I'm rare, like white running backs. Hell no. <laughs> nigga, I remember I took popcorn to the, the large popcorn, popcorn and large a plastic drinks, bag. To all the stuff we did that when we, when we all went to go see Batman. Yeah, all the all the all the goodies. I feel like there's a punchline coming. Like, yeah, yeah man, because like, we own a theater what, over on. Uh, what, what was your What was your motivation? <laughs> why you was Why you was doing that? Because I wasn't paying. <laughs> <laughs> See, 
<laughs> nigga trying to yeah alright I respect it I give you that my nigga cause I'm like hold on nigga every time you went to the movie you was doing he that said every time every yeah, time it had to be a reason you was doing came there with the same amount left with the same amount what? of money was they fresher than when you get out the- <laughs> cause you for, I, nah, I mean, I, I know we clowning that. right now, but basically, that. that's the fucking plug. Basically, the ninety nine cent store is closing all of their locations um, nationwide. They having a going out of business sale. Man, if you go to the ninety nine <laughs> cent store for a sale, lose my number. Lose my number. Nigga, Fifty cent. Stop. Playing. Lose my number. Right. If I see half off signs in there. <laughs> I'm calling somebody. <laughs> I'm telling. I'm telling y'all doing something up here, uh, yeah. man. Nah, nah, yeah. Not in that store. Got some shit that Dollar Tree don't got. Yeah, yeah I mean, I, on the same breath. There's a lot of stuff the 99 cent store just don't be having. Yeah. Um. Well, whatever. Y'all ever bought fruit out of? No. The- Tell us what happened when you did it, man. Did that inspire your garden? How long was you in the hospital? <laughs> Come on, spit it out. I seen it there before. I never bought it. Not, not, not fruit. What was you doing in that I area seen, then? I seen they were selling steaks in the Dollar Tree, man. Yeah, six ninety nine. But you ain't seen the memes, man. I just ate a steak from the ninety nine cent store. And my really arm won't move. They <laughs> <laughs> was really selling steaks in there, man. I was a steak. They man. sell all type of stuff. I was, that I was, crazy. I was yak back and kangaroo legs. I bro. still get my cleaning supplies from the Dollar Tree. Not the nine I haven't been Fabuloso? to the <laughs> Nah what's that shit That orange That's one? crazy Cause that's what I thought Yo, About the purple stuff Did you just say I get my cleaning supplies And I don't know the name of it He's like I get my cleaning supplies Nah not Fabuloso It's the little orange bottle What's it called You spray that shit on any, Nigga you spray that shit That sound shit worse on. than not knowing The third member of the Neptunes you spray man. that shit on Some <laughs> grease that been on there For 30 years That shit will wipe right off That's cause you spraying Reptiles acid From Mortal Kombat <laughs> On that shit man <laughs> That shit works <laughs> That shit works Fabuloso though is, is there too I think they just sell The watered down versions Of everything there Okay That's pretty much You know I mean that is that is gonna seem kind of weird. Like it's, you usually always see a ninety nine cent store somewhere wherever you at. So it's been a while. Since that's I've something about one. the economy, man. It's if, been a while since I see Dollar Trees more often. Though. Does it? I mean, because the whole thing about this, 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 this was so crazy, right? Inflation, the economy, all of these things that's going on, right? We yeah. have been feeling it for a while. Yeah, now. for sure. Mm-hmm. It's just gotten to a point that now it's actually affecting a company. But it's been around. Yeah. If but I, 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 affecting, but, affecting but Arizona right. teas are still the only thing staying true to price. Don't tell me Arizona's still 99 cents. Yeah. What's what's the ounces? Some places How they might ounces? be 79 cents. We're talking to tall cans. They lower the ounces? No, man. That shit ain't even. That's, I just think. That's I just, dangerous. I just. Like I said, I probably need to do more homework. I think it's just wild when you have places that people, a certain. People in a tax bracket depend on to go get certain things instead of paying way more. Still can't maintain in business. Like you, if you're in a, uh, especially at if the you're in a, if you're in the economy, because what Jelani is saying is right. We're all feeling it, right? But when you're in the economy where it's like, listen, we're gonna still try to keep our prices the same because there's people that are dependent on it, and you still can't stay in business. It's like, yo, what the hell is really going well, because, on? Well, because, like I said, inflation. So, while they might want to keep their prices the same, Overhead, it's right. just costing them yeah, more yeah, yeah, okay. to actually acquire these things, yeah, right? You're right, like, you're right. That's what I'm saying. At that time, when they came out in business, 99 cent stores and Dollar Trees were efficient in their business model, more likely, because the things that they provided at a lower cost. Now they have to raise the price on the things that were just to keep the lights on. Just to keep the lights Bro, on. Bro, yeah. I, I went to a 99 cent store uh, easily like six months ago. It was probably a little longer than that. But it looked like they was already going out of business. Hmm. Because it's not as easy to keep the shelves stocked because of everything going up in price like we're just thinking about the cost of things like nine it's not even just the cost of things the cost to get them here shipping yeah shipping gas everything yeah you're right that's true there's a lot of different variables that go into actually stocking these shelves yeah and so it's like can't afford to sell things at the same prices and do the same amount of numbers but 
everything else has increased for us to be able to do business. So we're doing business, right. but we're losing money doing business because the prices to do business have gone up while our prices haven't shifted. And I think about something else that I think about too that's unfortunate is like that's a lot of jobs lost too. That's got to that's got to contribute to a, a spike in unemployment. Well, yeah, know, but not the biggest. At Taco Bell. Not the biggest spike you would think because they've well, yeah, already that, been short staffed yeah, at nine yeah, nine yeah. cent stores because they can't afford to have so many employees because they're not doing the same numbers. Yeah, Minimum that's crazy. Wage. I had to ring my shit out. I was like, they got self checkout. I was like, nah, man, they taking too long. I okay, just, so that brings up t- like it's it's a uh, a gumbo of conversation because we got that. With what we're talking about with the 99 cent store but then there's right. Walmart is no longer doing the self checkouts right mm-hmm. um, and then also what I just found out today is that Sacramento County um, as well as San Francisco approved a basic minimum wage that should be beginning in I believe July 2024 based on your um, family's income where there's a guaranteed I believe $725 um, basic income for a year every month so there's like this whole this is for low income, right? Yeah, for low income. What's that tax bracket? That's what I'm trying to find out. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how many people I gotta add to my shit. <laughs> but all that is just to say, like, I was just gonna wait till we was done to nah, get the nah, info. Nah, 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 <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. I went and checked articles. And I seen, you know, I seen a meme, and then I was like, let me go look and just see if this shit real. And it was real. Um, so there's like. The economy in the in the world that we live in today is like it's crazy because the yeah. things that were accessible at a lower pr- price <clears throat> when we're coming up is totally different. Than Everything is now. costing more, but the quality is consistently going downhill. For so sure. prices are going up yes. while the quality is going down. Yeah, and it all has a lot to do. Man, there's so many things that yes <sighs> go into the reasons behind that from. To how we polluted our climate and it's diff- more difficult to grow quality produce and shipping produce and distribution and the demand for it. Just, there's so many different things that go into the mm-hmm. reasons why the prices are high and the quality is low and there's really not much that could be done about it because this is the bid that we have made for ourselves as a uh, whole. Yeah. Well, it cost me $30 for no, forty dollars for a half a tank of my gas, bro. Man, that's crazy. Don't go nowhere. <laughs> I don't, and that's only that's until I, I notice that. You. Until I until I notice I got a customer I'm like, yo, bro, this, it just cost me forty. If Jelani was a financial advisor, you would leave defeated. No nah, look, he he. The Where's your he shoes? Said he was like, he said nigga, I shouldn't wear them. No nigga, don't. Shit, don't even go nowhere. Don't buddy. go nowhere, bro. <laughs> You gotta think. You Food know, prices. This shit is fast. Crazy. No. <laughs> you could either go to the grocery store and buy your food at whatever price, or you could go out to eat and it costs the same as what you paid for at the grocery store. Now. See, 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 this is the whole thing about it. I hate when people do that because it's like, all right, we go out to eat, right? Mm-hmm. So you go out to eat, you spend dub, dub five. You're going out with somebody, 40, 50, mm-hmm. right? Now, that's one meal. Maybe leftovers, right? <clears throat> I can take that same dub to 40 to $50, go to the grocery store and buy groceries and be able to feed myself for the next few days easily. I agree with that. Th- this is that's where, where this I don't is, like. This is where it changed like, the- It costs the same to go out to eat as it does to buy groceries. Yeah, but the groceries go further. This is further, where it changes. This is further. where it changes. Now we add time into the variable. Mm-hmm. Now you got to add time because we, we talk about convenience and we talk about the amount of time you got to cook. With the amount of things that we ha- are, are taking part in throughout our daily lives a lot, we ain't got enough time to really do it. I got time idea. to cook. I, I, it's, 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 a matter, it's a matter of if I want to with the time I have that's I free. I agree. I agree. Because here, here's the be thing. Here's the thing. You have to allocate this a similar amount of time to go eat. You got to get dressed. You gotta get in the car. You gotta I mean, not well, really. depending on where you, what lights you hit, how far it is. Then you gotta, you know, you still just wait time for your food. Depends on when you. You're put a terrible that order person if you your, don't tip. Depends on when you put that order <laughs> in on, on your, on your food. Are you taking it to go? <laughs> you taking it to go, or did you put the order in twenty minutes before you got to the spot? 
Either I think way. I think we're I either think, way. You still have to invest yeah, but sometimes that it just depends. You to know, go get it, it and it, it can be sometimes. I think the the level of convenience with stuff like that is as simple as like, hey, I didn't have enough time because I got a whole bunch going on today. But yes. for the most part, you know, the average responsible person will run into that here and there. Yes. Therefore, like you will have time allocated for the necessities. You know what I'm saying? Like. I also, cook, I'm, talking, anyway. I'm talking as a single parent. <laughs> I also do stuff like with a garden. A I'll decide with a garden. garden. I'll decide to I'll decide to cook. I got to do it all, and I will overcook. Mm, yeah. I, I, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 or or sure. or I'll, like I'll, I'll I'll prep multiple things. Yeah. So then it's like, all right, I'll let the chicken breast soak while I peel in the vein shrimp. Right. And then I'll say I make shredded chicken. I'll make enough to where like whatever dish I'm using it for tonight. And then if I want to shredded chicken tacos tomorrow or whatever, okay. mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Make a uh, you repurpose a chicken, and everything. A chicken Philly steak. You know what I'm saying? Like you yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like yeah, yeah, I, I soak yeah, yeah. three different types of beans at the same time. I'll make multiple jars of tomato saying? sauce. Right. Multiple so, jars of broth. And I try to do that to make it easier on myself, yeah. so that it's like all right. So like the night before. I made this dish and it had shredded chicken and I don't feel like that tonight but because I shredded the chicken and I chopped tomatoes and I did this all I really got to do is fry some shells and then mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? I shredded cheese the other night like you know what I'm saying like and so I try prep to do time. it like that yeah you know, like try to prep multiple things or or do something now to cut down on the time moving ahead mm-hmm. But shit, but hey like, bro, I got a question for you bro um cuz I, I came across a video where they were saying like basically canning your food is a good route to go to yeah, canning uh, is is great. You, you do that a um, lot. I have a canner that I bought. I've never used it because I like to use a lot of fresh things, and I haven't produced enough out of my garden to where I would um, have enough to can. Okay. So I don't want to can and just go to the grocery store and buy a whole bunch of stuff because I got a budget for each month. So I could I could get enough stuff to like do a lot of canning but it's just more convenient and um um easier on me to just do it month by month or like week by every well, you week just gotta make sure week. you just gotta make sure you stay positive man don't ever yeah. say you can't say you can yeah so, you can you can can me up some <laughs> yes, you can. how about that <laughs> But I have a canner. Uh, yeah. But canning, yeah, it it works uh, if you know how to. What's do the mechanics problem. in that when you can it? Really, canning is it just requires you to make whatever you're making. You have these uh, the the types of mason jars that you get mm-hmm. has a seal mm-hmm. um, level on it, and then you have the top to it. It's really boiling it to a certain pr- um, um, temperature, and then really the pressure of the heat really seals that seal top on there and it also ensures that the bacteria isn't formulating within the jars can you can cantaloupe uh yeah but i think the way in which you do those type of things will be pickling what about cantina salsa yeah yeah right. but a lot of times also too what i want to do my research on is like the um shelf life of a lot of things because i don't want to add preservatives what's the shelf life of candles <laughs> Yo, listen to ask questions. And I'm like, yo, how long is he gonna go? How long is he gonna go? Because when I he said, I didn't peep game at first. When he said canteen of sauce, I'm like, yeah, that, he not even catch serious. It. I didn't catch it. He's he saying I was serious. He's saying I was, but it's because these stupid fucking glasses you got on, nigga, would have put on the glasses, like, so a nigga can't really like, see what's going like, on. Yo, he's not serious. Yeah, anymore, I didn't catch right. guy. He got me into it. He said, I got a question for you. Then I was like, oh shit, nigga. <laughs> I'm getting interviewed today and shit. And then he want to fucking talk about some fucking no, he said, candles. He said, he said, cantina. He, he said, said everything with can, and I didn't catch it. Yeah, he said cantaloupe, and I'm like, I, was, I didn't catch. Yeah, nah, nigga, you hell out of pocket, nigga. When he said that, I was like, mm. when he said cantina, cantaloupe, cantina, cantaloupe. I didn't said cantina sauce. I was like, yep, he ain't. Nah, he ain't I was, I was, that was. Over my I'm just like, all right, let's see how long he's going. <laughs> yeah, hey, and I was going to go to I was like, let's see how long this nigga cooks. Let's see how long he cook, bro. Hey, <laughs> if you would have said something before shelf, candles, well, then I would have been like, shelf life you know what? Of a candle? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you don't burn it forever. <laughs> what? <laughs> 
Huh? But look, the crazy part is the wheel starts spinning in my head. I was like, nigga, it might depend on what kind yeah. of wax you use. I was about to hey, what I is asked it, you, it could be, it could like, be bro, coke in the wood. <laughs> hey, when I said cantaloupe, right? Jelani was like, what the hell is he doing? But I'm kind of curious on what his answer going to be. <laughs> hey, hey girl, I didn't want to say something, but I want to say like... <laughs> Do you know the answer though? <laughs> My stupid ass shit pickling. <laughs> I said, oh, you need to depend on if you pickling the fucking cantaloupe. Yeah. What the fuck am I talking about? I don't know. But it's definitely going to be a joke from here on out. Like, go, this nigga talking about pickling cantaloupe. Like, he's retarded. Godly. Wow. Nah, my nigga. Yeah. Live your life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're hey. pickle kettle. <laughs> bro, we out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Yo. Shit. Anyways, you already know how we do. You've been tuning into the Notion Podcast. I'm your host, Dizzy D Spill, with my co host in the building, Jelani Evans. Shit, Farmer Poe. We got pickled cantaloupe. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, you already know Follow us on all platforms Leave comments on some of the things we talked about Let us know what you think Until next time Peace